pulling it back to mining specific um, and and keeping that sort of changing directions theme, the industry in, in the safety side of things, the industry has taken a whole new focus on that. Um, has that, uh, ha has your has your business done the same thing? Has there been a lot of changes that we needed to be implemented? And like I'm, I'm talking about over like the last 10, 15 years when that those changes starting to really come across the industry. Has it kind of come to you as well? What we're trying to do is understand, well, the probability of hurting yourself with this work type occurring because that work type occurs in an uncontrolled environment when the truck has been subject to uh, very high wear and tear for an extended period. You can then see, all right, well, uh, what we'd be better off doing is either uh, understanding how you can create a more controlled environment or understanding how a product can be changed, maintained, uh, or checked for, for, um, uh, for condition um, in a, any environment and still be perfectly safe. So uh, one of the key examples would be a collared pin assembly. So uh, you'll have pins and bushes going into, say, uh, a hoist assembly or a tray assembly and uh, on a truck. And uh, if the pin seizes in the back of the truck um, at a lot of places that we deal with, you would need to thermal lance that pin out. Now that requires a spotter, it requires a hot work pin permit, it requires the wheels to come off the truck. There is a heap of work in there to make sure that it's done safely. And inherently, it, it, you have a risk of fire, you have a risk of burn um, and other injury because sparks literally fly at random angles um, <clears throat> for as long as it takes you to cut this pin out. So what we uh, developed, which has been in the industry for quite a while, and there are a number of providers, and some OEs I think now do them as standard, but a collared pin assembly. So you have two collared bushes in um, each side, and then you have a tapered pin in the middle. You then have an extraction tool, which uh, you, you screw in, you pull out one bush, you pull out the other bush, you pull out the pin, or you pull out the bush, the pin, and then the other bush from the other side. No hot work. You can do it all with a, uh, a shifter and a couple of other tools. So the lancing is completely removed. And so you can pr uh, produce the same result in a controlled environment as an uncontrolled environment with that type of engineering change. And there's no change to the safety. 